Okay, let's uh, let's answer some questions here, some comments that was left on the channel page. Let's answer up a few of them. Actually, what's taking place here is uh, I, I'm, I'm building the bailing war engine. That's the reason that I need one of these. Actually, this one right here is the one that we're going to use in the bailing war engine. Completely assembled. Spark plug model. But I'm, I'm off on this year's side trips that, that we're calling this uh, IHC engine series. And, and it's kind of generic on all of these type M's, this part. And then when I do get to assembling the Bailing War engine, then we'll go back over to the McCormick Deering designation as it was a spark plug engine, and it was badged as a McCormick Deering. But to get on with this, let's call this the, the rod... Uh, the difference is in the rods, and I'll just bring a couple of, of pointers to mind uh, quickly. There, there's, there's, they are, they are only two versions of the rods that I have found. They're interchangeable. You can use them any any different ear models, but there is this type right here that has the keyed bushing. Has a little ear on it there that fits in that little notch in the small end, uh, the wrist pin end. And usually, this particular rod right here is it, it, it came out of a 1918 year model, verified by the tag on the engine. And and you can observe this uh, observe that the 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 rod cap how thick it is. It's it's only about a quarter of an inch or less thickness there. And then when they turned it, it was the casting. And then when they turned it, it left a very small lip right there for the for the Babbitt bearing to fit in. That's the 1918. Okay, the, the same type, and, and this one right here, someone has replaced the bushing wrist pin bushing with a bushing that did not have the ear on it and as you can if you look inside of it that bushing had four holes in it okay that hole was supposed to line up in this oil trough up here on the top this is this will always be the top on this rod always you cannot get it in there you cannot put this rod in wrong if you know that the oil flows down if you put it you can put it in this way fit and go good but you would never be able to get any oil to your wrist pin bushing and that's what this is and that's the case here this wrist pin bushing in this engine never received any oil because the bushing turned a little bit and and the hole is here and here so to make this one in it, but then I did check it. it. It don't have a lot of wire in there. It's still still savageable. Only about uh, maybe a thousandth or so play in here. Not very much. So you drill a hole in here and set this rod right. It's a 9651 T part number. And in the comparison, you see how big that. This is the later 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 model. Still a. This would have been, with this eared bushing, would have been a igniter model. The 1918 would have been igniter. Uh, most likely, uh, that one I'm pretty sure was a understrike. But you can observe how, how, how much bigger this casting was. Oh, it's quite hefty there. Oh, more than a quarter of an inch lip. The, uh, this is just another example of the... Uh, one that it only has one hole in this bushing and it does go through but that is the eared one uh, it's uh, this is as found and and this one it's the same part number but it, the uniqueness it does have the IHC logo on it there and it's a 9651 dot dash 2 dot T dot and the other one is just a plain 96 T or oh, you will find T 
two or three different number systems on them. This one is a 9651TA. They're all the same. These these four here being the later model ones that did not have the eared bushing. They will interchange. You could put this rod in the very first one or you could put this 1918 in the last one. Same size wrist pin and the same distance all being the same. The uh, uh, there's just several different examples. He, this is another. This is another one that that the bushing has spun in the in the uh, rod, and the hole don't go all the way through. This is this is very bad. That's one of the things you should check uh, if you disassemble an engine, and and if that's not open, just run a drill bit through there, and you'll probably be good to go. The uh, and it's just just some some examples. Uh, nothing nothing different about them. Just you will find them with the really thin castings on this end, and also the real thick castings. Comparing those two together, they're identical. Uh, pretty much all these are interchangeable. Like I say, now one of the things that you will find. Uh, which is quite interesting.